what is up guys welcome back for another reaction of monster this is episode 61 and this episode is called the door of memory so last episode martin ended up dying from protecting ava i think that they actually were falling for each other uh, hard right and uh, I, it's actually sad i feel because uh, i really like martin uh, he was a cool character um Ava and uh, Tenma actually ended up meeting in the station and Tenma were sending her on her way to be protected, right? But we know Ava, she don't want to do that, so she ended up uh, buying a gun, apparently, in the end of the last episode. Um, so, yeah, I'm super excited to see where, where it's going, where, what she is gonna do and um, how we are actually gonna catch up to uh, Johan. So guys, without further ado, let's go! You got a job as a waitress and found a place so, to live. Dita and you got furniture and too. Nina are back, but this apparently. bed is terrible. I'm just sitting on it and it's tilting like it's gonna sink into the floor. <laughs> if you put all your weight on it, it'll fall apart. So it looks like I'm gonna be the one sleeping on this bed. So You'll be more place comfortable on that sofa. There's no place for you to sleep, Dieter. Huh? It's time you packed up your things and returned to Dr. Reichwein's place in Munich. Why should I? You know very well, because you have to go back to school now. I don't need school. I don't want to go. And just how are you going to learn anything? <laughs> you can teach me what I need to <laughs> know. To act like it's a mom. more than just your studies. You won't be able to make any friends living like this. Well, I already have friends named Nina and Tenma. Besides, you need my company. You'd be very lonely if I wasn't around. <laughs> that is nice most likely try, true, right? You're going back to Munich anyway. No, I'm not. Forget it. I'm not going to Munich. I think Wait it's going to be Nina, dangerous you for you to back stay there around. Again today? Stop it already. You've got to give it up now. You keep going to that same place every day. No matter how many times you do it, so it's always the that? same. You never remember anything. Nina! The three frogs. Oh, okay. We lived here. Mother and I. And Johan. We knew that. <gasps> so can we finally get some clarification of what that girl that she saw... Here. If it was herself, or if she was struggled. replaced, Johan or... was dragged down these stairs and taken away. No, let go of me! Stop! Mother! Nina! That's wrong. Because Nina's the name I have now. So what was the name that Mother called me way back then? Nina, Anna, I can't remember which one was my name. Hmm. The but Anna, was wasn't that the name she got like later on after all this had happened? He and then Nina again when she moved? Definitely a no -no. Hmm. They gathered all the children together every single Friday afternoon at 3 o'clock for book readings. Here, at the Red Rose Mansion. Looks like the lock's broken. So now they're back, but... All this destroyed. They really worked trying to create... a superior pupil. What is a superior pupil? <gasps> Johan. And they... <gasps> but who did it? Who was responsible? Yeah, that's what I want to know. He escaped. Johan ran away. He ran through the rose bushes. So, was it Johan that killed them Are all, all the right? time? Was this the pain? Hmm? The pain is... Could it be? While I... 
was waiting in this room for Mom to come home, for Johan to come home. I was reading this picture book. People can become whatever they want to be. By Franz Bonaparte. Readings of Mr. Bonaparte's picture books were being held at the Red Rose Mansion. At the same time, I was reading this one. As I waited for Johan to come home. Yeah, and? I stood in this room facing the front door. I remember I was smiling and said, Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome that, home. That is where Welcome she said home. she saw herself, Welcome right? Home. Now, come with me. The door won't open! No matter how many times I said welcome home, the door won't open! The door won't open! That's because I... I remember! I remember! Stop it, Nina! You don't have to remember it! You don't have to remember anything at all! I'm hmm. the same! I have lots of terrible memories floating around too! But I don't have to remember those things and neither should you! All right, I'll go back to Dr. Reichvines and go to school. But you come with me. Let's go back together, Nina. Come on, well, why I, don't we do what Tenma said? She, she could actually do it. There's no we'll point for her to be digging around for this. Good memories only. From now on, Nina. <laughs> because, yeah, like, she hasn't really contributed to anything, right? This is just her digging around for all the bad... Bad stuff that happened to her, right? Hold on a second, Chief Detective. You mean I'm to be an observer and all I can do is sit next to the officer and watch? We're complying with your request. Under the circumstances, it's the best we can offer you. The best, really? I'm being allowed 30 minutes per person to observe. I don't think that's enough time. It's sufficient. You're just gonna be listening. And I think it's extraordinary that we've done so much to cooperate with you in this matter. We've finally been allowed to talk to these people. But it'll be a miracle if we could get any usable information from them. I need more time. I need to collect as many testimonies as possible. Don't be naive. What? Most likely, these people won't remember or want to talk about anything from their pasts. The book readings occurred when they were just kids. My own personal theory is the numerous bodies that our men were able to uncover at the Red Rose Mansion ah, have that is what some they're direct at. connection to the former Czechoslovakian secret police. However, uh, the truth in this case may never be known. Things like this usually remain a mystery forever. Ah, here's a detective who's in charge of the case. This is the lawyer from Germany. Ah, Mr. is this? Um, I'll leave the rest to you. What was his name? Yeah, I'm Detective Suk. Exactly, nice Suk. That's I it. I prepared a list of questions in advance. I'll be asking them. Please do as I say. I need your full cooperation. You're only coming in here as an observer. I want to make that very clear. Okay, Suk, Number three, Chervenny Street, also known as the Red Rose Mansion. It burned down, and this photo shows what's left of it. From what we've ascertained so far, you were there in 1968 and participated in weekly book readings. Isn't that right, Mr. Erno? Well, Mr. Erno? Does the name Franz Bonaparte sound familiar to you? Look, would you please be quiet? We don't have much time. Jesus Christ. I'm just trying to be careful. Sue, please. If you please. keep being this careful, you'll end up with no information when you're done. You have no idea how hard we've had to work to prepare them for this interview process. I'm not feeling sad. I had always thought that the mansion was my emotional foundation. And as I was viewing this image of the burned remains, I thought I'd feel very sad. But there isn't a bit of sadness anywhere in me. Do you feel at all nostalgic about the mansion? Nostalgic? Yes, because you spent a lot of time there. The mansion was like a school to you, wasn't it? Mm. Mr. Verdemon, would you please be quiet and let me ask the questions that I've prepared? I'm not sure I know. Feeling sadness. Nostalgia. I'm not sure. Emotional scars? What do you mean by that? Let me ask it another way. Hmm. Do you believe your participation in those weekly book readings has in some way negatively affected you throughout your adult life? Uh... Not really. Any troubles in your family life? 
You don't have to answer that. Remember, you have the right to refuse. They, well, I'm divorced. They're literally there really like, weren't any big problems between like my wife and me. We got along for the most part. They don't even part. know it themselves, right? But my children, my oldest son and my second son, both committed suicide. They didn't seem to have any troubles or problems. But for some reason, they both killed themselves, and I've always had to wonder why. Is there something you're trying to say? I'll wow. save you the trouble of figuring it out. I feel your whole line of questioning is far too by the book. So far, you haven't been able to get anything useful from anyone. True. I think you typify the way today's youth operates. If it's not in a manual, you're unable to make a move. That probably applies to how you pick up women, too. Who do you think you are, my <laughs> father? For the record, I don't have a father. And if I did, I wouldn't want one like you. The next person may come in now. Memories of the book ratings, huh? I'm Maybe not sure. Maybe you should actually listen to anything you can tell me. us, no matter how small. The God of Peace was very busy. Hey, come on! What are you trying to he do? He was so busy playing the trumpet, he didn't have time to look in the mirror. It's a passage from Klaus Pope's The God of Peace. It sounds familiar, doesn't it? It does. I kind of think I remember it. And there was another one. Yeah, it was about the monster from the west and the monster from the east. I like that one much better. Could you describe what you like most about these storybooks? Hmm, how should I put it? I guess I could say that they all took me away to a different world. Different how? Crying when you're sad, being happy as well as being afraid and fearful. All those feelings just seem to go away, I'd say. Why did you feel that way about these books? There's definitely really something know. with those books, right? Actually, I didn't feel anything about anything. Even your name disappears. I didn't want it. Think about it. That's true freedom. That's what it felt like, anyway. But why did you feel like that? Did Franz Bonaparte teach you to feel that way? Hmm, was he the person who held all those readings? Was that the name of the guy? This is what you clearly remember learning from all the book readings, isn't that correct? That's what I clearly remember? No. One afternoon, Tell while us, I was please. there, a man came by to visit the mansion. He said he was from a radio station. Mm -hmm. He mentioned a song that was a favorite of his called uh, Over the Rainbow. Mm -hmm. And he took the time to tell me about the Wizard of Oz. What was his the name, did he say? <gasps> tell me. Tell me everything about him right now. Calm down. What the hell are you doing? Tell Cut me. it out. Yeah, please. this is too personal for him. Anything. <sighs> What's going on? What just happened in there? Suddenly, it's as if your questions have personal feelings attached exactly, to them. Exactly, dude. It's personal for you too, right? You're the young detective who was framed for the series of crimes that were actually committed by the secret police. That was you, wasn't it, Detective Souk? You're desperate to dispel all the allegations and suspicion around you. Am I wrong? Definitely. You and I are the same. <laughs> My father was in prison for working as an East German spy during the Cold War. I always believed that he was falsely accused. But he was not, Then dude. I found out that he was a spy all along. <clears throat> I could no longer believe in anybody. I no longer believed in anything in the world. I'm pursuing a case involving a man who's truly innocent. So now I found somebody I can believe in again. Mm -hmm. That man from the radio station the witness was talking about. That man was my father. <laughs> my father might have taken part in the brainwashing experiments that occurred at the Red Rose Mansion. 100% I not. mustn't look away. I have to find out the truth. Say, may I go home now? It'll be just a bit longer. That man from the radio station that I was talking about, do you know what he said to me? He said, you get out of here fast. Hmm? There's a wonderful land somewhere over the rainbow. That's where your family is, he said to me. Dorothy, the brave little girl from the Wizard of Oz, is able to go back home in the end. Hmm. You have to get out of here too, he said. Go home. So while his father was not all bad? So or? then directly after that, I cut all my ties to the mansion. Have you heard enough? My wife and kid are waiting on me at home. Uh, yeah. Okay, I, I guess I guess he likes to hear that, right? You mustn't look away. I know. We need to finish. There are two more. 
All right, let's keep going. Okay, interesting. Come on, Dieter, stay focused. I need you to hold this while I work. After all, it's going to be your study desk. <sighs> Nina doesn't want to talk about anything that happened in Prague just yet. According to what I heard from you, she's recovered quite a bit of her memory. She's probably thinking about those things in her past. But it seems that right before her memories fully come back to her, she just stops remembering. And that's because of you. I keep wondering if maybe I did something bad. No, you certainly didn't. You did a very good job, Dieter. <laughs> now, what do you say we finish putting this desk together quickly so we can go have ourselves some vice first? Did you forget? We ate all the vice first last night. What do you mean we ate it all? Oh, darn it, you're right. Doctor! <laughs> what the fuck? We brought you something. It's your favorite, Weisswurst. How considerate of you, my boy. You've saved the day. <sighs> Dr. Reichfein, how are you? I'm sorry for not contacting you for so long. I'm sure I've had you worried. But I'm okay. fine. Reunion. The truth is, Dr. Reichfein, I have a favor to ask. I believe you know Eva Heinemann, don't you? She's being targeted by a certain organization Ah, shit, right now. but she's not, never arrived I've there. I've sent her in your direction. Please take good care of her. And please, look after Nina and Dieter as well. It'll all be over soon. I believe that there is only one way. Let's hope I this will all be this. over soon. Sincerely, Kenzo Tenma. Tenma's letter arrived here about three days ago. But so far, Eva hasn't shown up. There's mm -hmm. been no sign and of she her. Will not I'm wondering up. what city this letter was sent from. The postmark doesn't show up clearly. Is there a way to figure it out? Probably. I'll try. If we do that, then we'll know where Tenma is, right? Yeah, but in the meantime, I'm a bit worried about this last sentence that he wrote. It'll all be over soon. I believe that there is only one way I can put an end to this. He has to kill him, and Nina knows. Enough of that. Let's go finish that study desk. I could use your help. I hope that beer won't impair my coordination. Dr. Reichwein, I want to remember all the memories from my past. When you remember them, are you prepared for the consequences? Yes. I'm ready for you to try any means necessary to bring back my full memory. Oh yeah, he should be able to help her to with that. To be honest, I don't want to try anything myself. However, let me see what I can do, if that's what you really want. You're sure you're all right with this? Yes, Dr. Gillen. But... And Gillen is back? After you've put me in a hypnotic state, there might be some things... that are absolutely terrifying. Will you face them with me, Dr. Gillen? Don't worry, Nina. I'll be here. Every step of the way. First, I want you to close your eyes. Next, take okay, a deep this is breath be good, and rest, relaxing your whole body. <sighs> Tell me, what was your mother like? My mother... My mother was gentle. The songs... The singing... A very beautiful voice. The smell of pea soup that she always made for us. What about your father? My father was... My father was... Yeah, we don't even a know. A government soldier. A government okay, soldier? Okay, this is new. Did you ever meet your father? I never had a chance. My mother told me what happened to him. My father... He was killed. My mother was... A political activist. Your mother, who had taken hmm. part in anti-government activities, fled the country with her children when your father was killed. Who was she running away from? She moved us into the Three Frogs. We had to hide there. But then one day, my brother was caught by a man with glasses. When your brother was caught, where did they take him? To the Red Rose Mansion! <laughs> a lot of people died that day. Did your brother see what happened to the people? Welcome home, 
Okay, creepy, but uh, we need to hear this. Can you hear me? Nina. I got it. I found out where Tenma's letter was mailed from. Well, where? It was Frankfurt. Nina, you've remembered everything now, haven't you, Nina? Not Nina. It's not my name. Well, who are you then? I don't want to say. There's nothing to be afraid of. You can tell me. It's all right. Who am I talking to? Don't want to say. Don't be afraid. You're safe here. Huh? Don't want to say. Huh? I'm back. Huh? What the f? f? I'm back. I'm going to grab my hands right now. And when I do, you're going to wake up from your trance. You better do it now. Nina! We're all right now. Holy shit! Did I... Did I say something really terrible? No, but while you were hypnotized, <laughs> you refused to tell me everything, Nina. But I'm sure you remember all of it now, isn't that right? Holy shit! Like... Damn! Dear Dr. Reichwein, Dieter, please forgive me for leaving so suddenly. I'm going to Frankfurt, where Tenma is. I know everything. Who I am, where Johan came from, and where he is headed. If I go, I can put an end to everything. That's good, so if maybe... If I go, I can save Tenma. That is super nice, so she, she know everything now. That's perfect. So there we have it guys, that was the episode and uh, it was slow for sure, but, but I would say it was very necessary and I feel like um, I feel like it was very important stuff that came here, even though we didn't really learn anything, right? I It's, it's still like hidden inside Nina, Anna, whoever she is. Um, but I think it's a really good thing what happened, even though it was scary as fuck. Um, and see, she's now going to Tenma. And she can save him, she says. So, what was it that she remembered? What was it? Uh, I'm actually really excited to learn about that. Um, we also saw uh, Suk and Verderman again, actually uh, interviewing the people that was actually at these readings or book readings at uh, the Red Rose Mansion. And I don't really know what we really got from that, except that it was like kind of confirmed that Verderman's father was there. Uh, we kind of heard about it a bit before, I think, right? Um, or he told us, I think. But but still, like. I am 100% sure that they will uncover something as well, right? Uh, and of course, they are holding it uh, secret for now, so, you know, the suspense, right? Like, I, I really, I really want to learn. Um, and yeah, I, like, that was kind of the, the whole episode. Nina and, and Dieter, of course, went back to, to Reichwein, and uh, I think Dieter is gonna stay there for now, um, which is way better than anything, you know, he definitely needs to stay there instead of traveling around and experiencing all these horrible things, right? So, but yeah, like, that was the episode. Super excited to see what's going to happen. Um, and yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for following as always. Please leave a like. I would appreciate it so much. See you next time. Peace.